Hi friends, we've been learning about where we live. And this week we've been talking about where animals live. Where does a spider live? This is Walter. Where does Walter live? That's right, Walter lives in a web. A spider web that he spins himself and that becomes his home. Walter's webs are very special. As a matter of fact, they're wonderful. So let's find out what makes Walter's web so wonderful. The name of our story is Walter's Wonderful Web. <clears throat> and our author is Tim Hopgood. And Tim Hopgood is also our illustrator. So he's our author. He wrote the book. And he's also our illustrator. He drew the pictures. Walter's Wonderful Web. <clears throat> Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like his friends. Those are Walter's friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. When the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs also blow away. Look at his wibbly wobbly web. <clears throat> but Walter was determined, so one morning he decided to start something special. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of what shape is that let's see it has three straight sides and three vertices which are called which are points so what shape has three straight sides and three vertices or corners very good, a triangle. So he made a web in the shape of a triangle. Wow, Walter, that was amazing. That was wonderful. Let's see what Walter does next. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of a, hmm, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out what shape this is. So it has four straight sides, four vertices, points or corners, right? That's all the same, just different words. And each side is the same size, right? Each side is the same length. What shape did Walter make his web? That's right, a square. What a wonderful square. Good job, Walter. Whoosh, went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and started again. This time he made a larger web in the shape of a Let's see what shape this is. So we have four straight sides, four vertices, right? Corners, points, all the same thing. But look, we have two sides, two parallel sides. Remember, parallel means that they are across from each other. So these are the horizontal lines that are parallel to each other. And they're long, but they're the same length. Then we have two more sides that are parallel from each other, right? They're across from each other. These are the vertical lines. And they're shorter than those two horizontal lines. So what shape has four straight sides, four vertices or points or corners, two parallel sides that are long and two parallel sides that are short? What shape is that? 
That's right, it's a rectangle. Good job, friends. What a wonderful rectangle, Walter. Good job. Whoosh went the wind, and it blew the web away. Walter sighed. <sighs> then he stretched his legs and made a taller web in the shape of a... <laughs> What shape is this? Let's see, we have four sides. The lines are straight, right? But they're on a slant. We have four points and no right angles, right? So if I go like this, it doesn't fit into my finger like it would if it was a square or a rectangle. So what shape is this? It's a rhombus, or as Walter calls it, a diamond. Good job, Walter. He made a web, he made his web into a rhombus. <coughs> whoosh, whoosh, went the wind, and it blew that web away too. Perhaps my web should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up and down. He twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? I think all the other webs were perfect too. They just didn't last very long. Nearly, it wasn't a perfect web, but it was almost a perfect what shape is that, friend? It's round. It has no sides. What is it? That's right. It's almost a perfect circle. And it looked strong. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh went the wind. Poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up, but as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do, so he took a deep breath and went to work. Whoosh went the wind. But it didn't stop Walter or his web. Not this time. And as the stars came out, Walter's web shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. Can you see all the different shapes that Walter put in his web? I see uh, rhombuses and circles and triangles, and I see rectangles and squares. Wow, Walter really made a wonderful web using all different shapes. Good job, Walter. Well, friends, we have a really fun game on boom cards to play, where we're gonna use different shapes to make different animals. I hope you have fun. Bye.